Hi everyone, Russell here again. So today um, I'm excited to bring you a different air filter for the turbo kit. So this has been a long process of adjusting um, from taking the Jackson filter um, from right in front of the passenger tire, relocating it because it's just a dust vacuum. I have no idea why it was placed there to begin with or why Honda put their original snorkel there. So um, over the last year or longer than a year, um, I have adjusted uh, pulling the filter out, doing some duct work, adding the particle separator to the turbo kit, uh, which has been great instead of 300 miles out of a completely plugged up filter. And not only was it plugging up, but it was getting mud inside of the canister because the moisture couldn't drain, drain out of it. So it was just kind of a huge mess. Okay, so um, I was able to relocate the filter housing to up there. Um, hooked the particle separator, that was great. Um, but the, the K&N filter with the foam sleeve that comes with the turbo kit was just letting an enormous amount of fine dust through. I mean, if you take any of your intake hoses apart on, you know, uh, behind the filter, everything is just completely dusted out. So I feel like I've came up with uh, uh, a solution to that. And this is a washable filter from Desert Craft. Okay, a uh, three inch inner diameter there. And uh, this is originally for a Polaris. Um, um, this has had tremendous success, not only on keeping the dust out of the engine, but being washable. So you can blow this out with an air hose. Um, you can wash it out. If you do wash it out, uh, let it dry for a couple days. So I just opted to buy two filters. So when it's time to um, basically, every with the particle separator, every oil change, I'm just going to swap the filters out, wash, uh, wash it, and then it'll be ready for the next time. So the first step in this process took place over a year ago, and that was relocating the the Jackson filter um, canister um, to the um, higher location. So I'll put the link um, below for that video just to get you caught up. So. Um, in that video, I, uh, Desert, uh, Desert Craft, Mark at Desert Craft um, made a custom intake hose and it has all the specs on there, the elbow I needed and everything to make it work. Of course, I used the, um, the little triangle piece there to run the intake hose through and that piece comes with the Honda Talon particle separator kit. Uh, so th this is just kind of an update to my first video. So if things don't make sense in this video, watch the other one first, and then you can kind of put two and two together. So All right, so what we have going on here, here's the Jackson Racing canister, filter, foam sleeve, lid, um, everything that I'm replacing. So I'm just taking this out and uh, doing away with it. And the reason I'm doing away with it is because it is letting way too much fine particles through and into the intake system. Um, I spent a lot of time on the phone with K&N and they basically said that I shouldn't be using the system on an off-road setup. So, you know, at like a 97.2 efficiency rating, <clears throat> it's just letting a bunch of stuff through. So here's what I come up with on the side. So um, to replace this, you know, the Jackson canister, uh, these bolts are four and a half inches on center that you clamp the filter up to. So a personal friend of mine has a metal shop right here in Missoula, Montana, um, one man business. Um, he has all the dimension specs and everything on hand. Um, I will uh, let you give him a call and uh, uh, you can order this if you want to switch over. <clears throat> so that new part... Um, we'll bolt right into the bottom of the canister. Um, the new filter from Desert Craft um, is washable, okay? So you can put a garden hose on the inside of it, wash all the dirt out um, until it's completely clean, make sure it's dry. Uh, what I did was just order two of them uh, so I can swap them out because you'll want to wait a day or two uh, to make sure that that filter is completely dry. So I'll put the numbers, the part numbers and the diagram um, in the video as well for this canister for the lid. And then also I have this coupler, which uh, this lid has a four inch outer diameter. 
Um, the SMB particle separ separator has a three and a half inch, so that's going to clamp up on those. So this is kind of the overview, what all the parts look like side by side. Um, this filter is the best thing I've come across. Uh, Mark at Desert Crafts has been absolutely amazing to work with. I know he spent two and a half years developing this sp specifically for dusty conditions. And um, honestly, at this point, anything's better than the K&N setup. So um, if you have any questions, let me know. All right. Um, so to start off with, we're just going to um, put those together, tighten that clamp down. Uh, once the filter is attached to the coupler, uh, then we're going to put the coupler inside the canister. All right, so I'm using the basically the washer and the locking nut from the Jackson kit. Um, and this is what it looks like. And I did forget to mention that this uh, coupler that I had made um, is in, comes in raw aluminum. So I just spray painted it, but um, it lines up perfectly. So my intake hose is three inches um, and that air filter is three inches. So this is kind of what it looks like. It's gonna give you a little more airflow as well. So that's going to slide in and we'll uh, use the hardware from the Jackson filter as well to put the, uh, the lid on. So looking inside of it, I mean, there's huge there's, I don't know, like almost five inches of room uh, for airflow. This is going to be a huge improvement over the old kit. So basically what I have going on here, this is a, a spare tire mount, um, and I'll put the link in the description, but I ended up cutting it right in the middle, adding a seven inch uh, pipe and welding it in. Um, and that's so, I could raise it up to approximately the, the roof line. And so it doesn't restrict my rear view. And then I took the Jackson filter housing right there. Um, I think I put uh, one new hole in there. That hole was already existing. Got some Axia alloys. So this uh, pipe up here is one and three quarter uh, instead of the standard two inch on the talon. And then, uh, so I have the housing here. We're just going to position both of these to where it lines up perfectly. And then the intake hose is going to go on the end of the canister. All right, so this is what it looks like completely assembled. We have the coupler, of course, three and a half inch to the SMB, four inch to the lid of the new canister, um, particle separator on there. Um, also, uh, one thing to keep in mind is the, the clamps for the particle separator for the Honda Talon come uh, in a two inch, but you can order directly from SMB, the one and three quarter inch, if you do a setup like I have. Um, we have the intake coming in there on the side. So since I bought the original Honda Talon, uh, particle separator it comes with that piece so the hose just goes through there i just have these on everywhere that could possibly be a rub point um, hose coming in so this also acts as a snorkel so that's a little above seven i mean a little above six feet off the ground and uh i am so thrilled to have the K&N filter gone so the other thing i did have to get a couple new um hose clamps you can see this one kind of lines up with the Jackson bracket. This one's kind of in the middle, um, but I don't think that's going to be a problem. So uh, let me know if you have any questions and um, I am super excited to have this washable filter that's going to catch all the fine dust. Also, if you want to add a little bling to your um, particle separator, you can take out um, the piece here on the front uh, just pops out. Uh, there's just those two little tabs on the top and two on the bottom. Um, you can paint the original one or they have some metal ones as well. So let's see, I got a silver one or you can have put a red one in. So just a little idea if you want to spice things up.